club. I'm so happy that we get to have this time together again this week. Um, I've got a whole roster of fun activities all set up, ready to go, but we're going to have to deal with a little business right now because according to the CDC, everyone who goes out in public is supposed to be wearing masks. So we're going to do some masks today that don't involve sewing and are made only with things that you would be able to find in your own home. So it's not a super upbeat topic, but I hope that you can come up with something that's going to give you a little bit of protection when you're out and about. So the first material that you'll need is a handkerchief or a uh, little bandana like this. The next thing you'll need are paper towels or a coffee filter. Either one should do about the same uh, as far as filtration goes, but it's even better if you have those blue shop towels. So check your garage, uh, see if you've got anything like that, because those will be much better. But if you don't, paper towels, coffee filters will do about the same job. And last, the most important part of your mask here, you've got a couple of options. These will be your ear holders. So your best option are these little uh, hair bands. You might not have those in your home though, so your second best option are just classic rubber bands. Check your junk drawer. And if you don't have anything like that, some string, these are shoelaces, they'll get the job done. So step one of our bandana or handkerchief mask is to fold it in half. Get it nice and even, but don't be too picky about it. Next, we're going to need our piece of paper towel. Make sure the piece is large enough to cover the whole region from the bridge of your nose down to under your chin. Then we're going to fold that in over the paper towel. Next, take your rubber band or hair tie. Go ahead and bring that in to where your paper towel is. Then you're going to fold that inside, and then that's your mask. Same thing if you're using rubber bands, you put them here, or if you're using your string or shoelaces, you can put them under like this. Fold down under the chin, fold up over the nose, and if you have glasses, Put them on the outside to hold it even closer. Here's my ear strap. For this nest mask, you are going to need a t-shirt, a marker of some kind, a pair of scissors, and then again, paper towels or coffee filters. To get started, you're going to want to kind of map out how you're going to cut your mask. In this uh, method, we're going to want this kind of area to be your masks, so make sure that it's tall enough to cover that space from the bridge of your nose to your chin and wide enough to go from cheek to cheek. These areas will be your straps. Try and mirror as much as possible. It really helps you to get things straighter. Make that wide so that your shirt doesn't fray. When you're done, it almost looks like a little bra. <laughs> Next, now that you've marked this space out, I'm actually going to make that a little wider, but that's okay. Go ahead, cut along those lines. You want to leave this connected area connected because that'll keep it from fraying.
Okay, so we're all cut out now. You can see that these sides are still connected. I've gone through both layers of the shirt. And so if you want to flip it over so you have the plain side, that'll be your outside now. It looks nice and tidy. You can go ahead, take your paper towel, fold that, put it right whoop, in between the two layers. And the mask is done. Let me show you how to put it on. Tie the top of the shirt up around the back of your head like this. And the bottom part of the shirt tie down around your neck like this. Cover the chin, top of the nose. Glasses on top to keep it close to your face. Now, this next step is for someone who may have a little sewing kit in their house and want to make a tool that will be very useful to you now that we're expected to wear masks all the time. If you're wearing a mask that requires ear straps, you'll notice that after a half hour or so of wearing, you're going to start getting sore and if it's cold outside the back of your ear can even get raw and chapped so some people have come up with this really great idea of making a small strap that goes behind your head and catches those ear flaps and stops them from pulling on your ears to do that you're going to need two buttons and you're going to need some kind of fabric i'm just going to use what's left over from my shirt And there you go. I'll show you how to use this in just a second. If you're looking at these buttons and you're not quite sure how to do it for yourself, last week's video teaches you how to sew on a button, hem pants, and mend a pop seam. So you can get that information there. A couple of buttons, a little strip of fabric, handy little tool. If you're wearing a traditional mask and your ears are getting sore from the elastic, Fix it with this. Touch one ear. Whoop. Catch the other. Takes a lot of the pressure off of your ears. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Again, I know it's not a fun thing to think about. But right now we're all concerned with keeping you safe and keeping the people around you safe. So make sure that you mask up every time you go outside. Remember to keep your hands clean going in and out of any place. You just want to keep things as tidy as possible. Reduce what you bring into your home and reduce what you put out there. So thank you so much and stay healthy guys.